Hi, I'm Maddie Daughtry. I represent Senate District 23, which includes the communities of my hometown of Brunswick, Freeport, Hartsville, Pownall, part of Yarmouth, and Chubig Island. So we need paid family medical leave so people don't have to choose between putting food on the table or taking care of their loved ones. This is a program that is great for the state of Maine. This is something that makes it stronger for our businesses, for our workers, for our employees, from our youngest Mainers who are bonding with their parents at home, to our oldest Mainers when our seniors are hoping to be able to age in place gracefully. This is a program that ties everyone together. Also, Maine is the only state in New England that does not have some sort of paid family medical leave program. In an employee-driven economy, we're already losing out. So paid family medical leave is paid for by everyone contributing into the system through a small contribution. With that small contribution, everyone is able to invest in the system, and this enables folks to be able to take paid leave for things like the arrival of a new child, whether that's through birth, adoption, or foster care, to care for a loved one with a serious illness, for issues around military deployment and making sure you're taking care of your family, uh, you know, also for folks aging in place or for safe leave for victims of abuse. Paid Family Medical Leave at its heart is a social insurance program that ensures that folks have a wage replacement and are able to make their ends meet when both the best and the worst happens. LD 1964, the Paid Family Medical Leave Bill, is probably at this point the most worked bill that is in the Maine Legislature. This policy comes out of two years worth of work by a bipartisan commission that's made up of citizens from across our state who really dug down and studied what it would look like to have a program here in Maine. We know we can't hit copy paste and take a policy from another state. We had to craft something that was unique to our demographics. So coming out of those two years of conversations and studying A through Z different models we could use here in Maine, my co-sponsor, Representative Kristen Cloutier, and I hit the road because we wanted to hear from you about what everyone needed to make this program work for all Mainers. So we've spoken to hundreds of businesses and employees and organizations to find out what their concerns were, what were their ideas. So the bill that we presented incorporated all of this feedback. You know, the conversations we've had across the state, the two years worth of work by a bipartisan commission, and everything we've heard from all of you. So as a small business owner, I can tell you firsthand that this is the type of policy that helps business owners like myself be able to recruit and retain employees. The U.S. is the only uh, country that is a major developed economy that doesn't have any sort of program. We're one of only six countries worldwide that don't have something. So this program is an investment in all of us. It comes from very small contributions to be pooled together for all of us to do what we already do as Mainers, take care of each other and build ourselves up as a community. I want to thank everyone who came out to testify on the bill. This is something that has truly been built together.